All right, so we are starting in a hologram of a media room. We're actually in that media room as well, but these things aren't aligned. So let me show you that split view. All right, so you can see that nothing in the hologram matches up with the physical space. But we're going to correct that. Split view. So I'm going to come down to this end of the room and I'm going to add an alignment anchor. And uh, so let's see this here. Add anchor. Once I've defined where the anchor is in the physical world, I need to go ahead and do the alignment here. So I am currently using the ray-based alignment. And the way that that works is we pick corresponding origins and angles. So I'm going to pick a starting origin on the model here. I'm going to use this back left corner of the model and pick an angle on the model. I'm just going to follow this straight line. It really doesn't matter what angle you use. It's just anything that you can match up. So we'll do this angle here. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the physical world. So in the physical world, the matching origin point is this corner here. And of course, the angle follows that same wall. Again, the length of this ray here doesn't really matter because it's just specifying the angle. So I'm going to get along the line here. And that's pretty good. All right, let's split this again so you can see that. Split view. All right, so now with the split here, you can see we got pretty good alignment. There's a little bit of uh, drift slightly to the right there, but you can really see where the outlet is, the outlet box. You can see where the studs are that the outlet box is mounted to, and you can see uh, where the tube connects from that bottom box to the upper box there. And now we can look around the rest of this space and kind of see how it aligns. You can see, for example, here's where the uh, tube is, the stud that that is mounted to, and you can see the, the blue tube it came down the wall uh, and then is now coming out of that box there. In the back, we're still aligned pretty good horizontally, but you'll notice when we get closer that we're not really aligned well depth-wise, and in fact, we're off a little bit horizontally as well. Uh, this can be due to tracking on the device. It can also be due to error uh, in the Matterport scan. It's not exactly precise, uh, but we can compensate for this uh, with this architecture as well. So split view, and then add anchor. Same thing as before, different corner this time. All right, that looks pretty good. Split view. Now we're not quite right on the uh, y-axis, the vertical axis here, but you can see that the box uh, does line up there. And you can see where the tube came down through the wall there. And uh, now if we start to walk back towards this location, of course you can see over there that it's not quite in alignment anymore, but because of the multi-alignment system, once we get over here, it re-snaps, and everything on this side is correct.